morning guys it is tuesday and you can tell by my not turtle appearance that i am filming today so i'm going to try and do at least three videos possibly four so i'm very excited about them and i haven't i don't think i've talked to you guys about glasses yet so we got our eyes checked and we got new glasses but we went through zenny which is an online thing they're not like sponsoring or anything it's just where we decided to go and love it <laughs> they're so affordable i actually got a pair of sunglasses these and another pair of glasses um for like under a hundred dollars which is freaking amazing so i'm like vibing that place real hard right now already thinking about what glasses to get next but i digress have my pile of things for various posts and videos i'm going to make got my cute glasses on we're gonna get started so this is like a spoiler for the upcoming sticker subscription and the start of October, but I made like a larger version of it and I'm obsessed with it. It's like 100% my aesthetic for sure. So it's like nine o'clock and this happens to me a lot these days where I just, I don't wanna watch TV. I don't wanna do anything. I just feel stir crazy and I end up going back to work usually because it's just something different and interesting to talk about and do. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I've noticed because of quarantine and staying at home so much is that I just get very restless at the end of the day. And um, the things that usually I would usually enjoy after a full day of activities and stuff just don't interest me right now. So. I'm just messing around with my planner, which is what I usually do. Um, these glasses look crazy big when my hair is pulled back. Like they look like a filter or something. I just wanted to share this kind of real moment, real moment with you guys. The back of my, like there's stuff back there. It just looks so bright. I don't know why. So I decided to write a blog post. This blog post I think is going up with a video that goes live near the end of the month or into October, but I thought, what the hey, might as well. So this process takes forever. My photos are always way too big. So it takes a really long time for them to load. So I've officially reached the point where TV is super boring and there's nothing good to watch. So I've been doing a lot of crafts. So I made this Monstera leaf out of clay and then I painted it and sprayed it with an like shiny adhesive so you can put the keys or rings or something on there but it was a really fun way to spend an evening and definitely occupied my time so what do we got going on here finishing up our sign our store sign mm -hmm. of course he's clamped so i can't show you we should just leave the, the text like that you know that's yeah yeah Perfect. done looks great did i do the thing you didn't look? I did. I just didn't double check. Oh my god, Alex. So I'm finding that the six month is getting too bulky, my daily. So I think I'm going to uncoil through September and then have October, November, and December recoiled so I can use that for the rest of the year. And then I'll just leave these uncoiled until I figure out what I wanna do. So I think that's gonna be the plan. So I'm gonna uncoil this and put it back together. Wish me luck. Step one, remove all of the Things that are just like coil clipped in, bookmarks, that sort of thing. It makes the whole process so much easier. Next, try to get the coil that you have 
undone as straight and rounded and like the other ones as possible so I need to actually straighten this bump out a little bit more so it's more in line with the other ones that way you can uncurl it uncoil it a little bit easier so since September, it's not over yet, I'm just gonna leave these pages out on my desk and just flip through them. But I have recoiled this and I kept the front couple of pages. I actually need to update my accomplishments. And then it starts in October. So I'll just set these all aside until the end of the year and figure out how I'm gonna coil them together. I might just do two again, like January through June and July through December, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but there's definitely going to be some uncoiling happening then anyway, so I'll just leave these undone and I'm going to put all this stuff back into this guy. New day. Different pair of glasses. Like I said, vibe in it. Vibe and then I can just switch up my glasses depending on what I'm wearing. I need more. Right now I only have three pairs. That's not enough. I need at least a dozen. That seems, seems logical. We're going to start carrying socks in the store and Alex has literally taken one of every single pair. Classic. So I started seeing ads for this kit on Instagram and then I started seeing them on Facebook and I honestly kind of love Instagram and Facebook ads because clearly they're tailored to me and know exactly what I want. So this is a kit, a DIY like build your own greenhouse kit, which reminds me so much of my dad. He would make like tanks and like vehicles and airplane kits all the time. Uh, I just kind of wish I would have gotten into this when he was alive, but what can you do? So I, I purchased this kit and it was around $50 if I recall. And the details are crazy. It's gonna be the most intense. I, I'm so excited and so nervous at the same time. Like, my God. Kaz, I was serious when I said that Alex wanted <laughs> one version of every single sock I got for the store. And I mean, I also got this B one because his and hers, matching socks, QAF. Mm -hmm. 